I hope you enjoyed that leg workout. Oh my gosh. My past like three leg workouts have been so good. I've left like extremely sweaty, like more sweaty than if I do cardio. And I haven't been able to walk like the next two days after, so it's been very good. In my glasses, I can't see anything. But yeah, so it is 6.07. I am gonna go home and make some breakfast as usual probably the same thing i always have yeah then i have to go to work the pants that i'm wearing right now that you just saw in the video uh, they are a pant that's coming out soon not in the color that i'm wearing but it's going to be in like three other colors so they're really really comfortable they're like softer than the lululemon align pant which i don't if you guys watch my videos you know that's like one of the only pairs of pants I really wear from Lululemon on a consistent basis now. And these are so comfortable. They're double lined at the top, so they're not see-through at all. And they're like kind of compressive through your hips and butt, so it helps to hide a little bit of the flaws and like keep you more held in. Do you like how I'm like cupping a butt right now? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna head home, have some breakfast, and maybe we'll make today a full day of eating. Yeah, we might just do that. Wow, I look disgusting. That's good. Okay, I'll see you guys at home.
breakfast. It's two pieces of Ezekiel bread toasted with, um, I sprayed a little bit of, I can't believe it's not butter on both of those. Just, this is um, egg whites and spinach and I did half an avocado on one and sugar-free jelly on the other and then my coffee with my stevia and milk. So that is breakfast. Alrighty guys, I am at work now. I stopped at the post office, dropped off um, some of the packages I still had to drop off, and I'm still honestly kind of hungry from my breakfast, and I, or like, I feel like I didn't eat enough. I think it's because leg workouts, I've told you guys before, I feel like I burn the most calories, like they make me the most tired, and they're the most like demanding on my body, and because I did more like high intensity exercises today like it was more like cardio I feel like I just burned more calories and now I'm regretting not eating <laughs> like my oatmeal or something that tends to hold me over a little bit longer I do have it's in a bag I got this and like had a little taste of it when I first got it to see if I would even like it so I have one of these go macro bars I think it's like peanut butter yeah peanut butter chocolate chip and then I have some granola and this looks disgusting now because it started to like separate a little bit but once I mix it up it'll be good it's just um, a parfait that I normally make so it's just that plain 0% fat Greek yogurt and blueberries raspberries and stevia honey that's what I brought to work with me depending on how long I'm here today I might have to go out and grab some more food because I have a feeling this isn't going to last me um, past like 11 or 12, and it's 9, <laughs> almost, well, 8.30. These, by the way, which I'll talk to you guys once I actually have a little bit more of it because I seriously, like, I had a bite, but you can, you can see I just had a little bite of it. Um, I had been wanting to try these, but I didn't know how good they would be. The first bite wasn't so bad, so... I'll let you guys know how that is, but I'm gonna head in, go to work. I had to put this down because look at this. Holy sun. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I am almost home from work and I'm starving. Um, I ate my, the snacks I showed you, so I ate my parfait for lunch and a little bit before that I had the rest of that go macro bar. How they make it is kind of similar to how the Lara bars are, but it's not as squishy. Like I hate the Lara bars. I think they're disgusting. So, or at least the ones I've had, I thought were really gross. But the go macro bars are pretty good. I, I would get it again. The only thing is they are a little bit higher calorie. I want to say the one I had was like 260 calories. I try to get protein bars that are under 200 because they don't necessarily fill me up that much. Um, and I know that I'm gonna eat shortly after I eat that, so I try to keep it lower calorie. Anyway though, it was good, so if you haven't tried them, maybe give it a try, see how you like it. And those are like a cleaner protein bar, I think like there's not as much, there's not as many ingredients in them, so I think I have a little bit of ground turkey left if I'm not mistaken. And I think I might just make my little taco bowl that I like live off of now. I seriously have it like probably say five times a week. Um, but yeah, I'll show that to you guys. I'm almost home. I'm gonna have a really busy evening. I have to do a bunch of laundry because we're going to the lake this weekend and we're actually leaving tomorrow night, Thursday night. And so I have to pack for that. I have to do laundry first. I have to edit videos so they can post at least one or two done um, to have for the weekend and make food. So yeah, I got a lot to do. So I'll show you guys maybe when I get home and then we're gonna get started on all of my to do. Okay, so I lied. I thought I had more left than I did. I only have like a spoonful of ground turkey left. So heating up a pan right now, then I'm going to cook some of that up but for a snack I'm gonna have this spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip it's very good 
Um, there's like little tomatoes in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's delicious. Um, it says, it's from Trader Joe's. It says 50% less fat than regular spinach dip, 50% uh, less calories. It's only 30 calories for two tablespoons. Two and a half grams of fat, two carbs, and one protein. And then I have these chips from Trader Joe's as well. Organic blue corn tortilla chips. So I'm gonna have a few of these while I'm waiting for my ground turkey because I'm starving. <laughs> guys this is my very late lunch or I don't know it's basically like my second lunch it is just the lean ground turkey with talk reduced sodium taco seasoning and a little bit of pico in there and then um, shredded lettuce uh, that zero fat Greek yogurt so it acts as like a sour cream it doesn't look good but it is delicious and then I'm still gonna snack on some of this so that is my next meal and i'm gonna get started editing some videos and probably watch some youtube videos i'll see you guys at my next meal it might be like protein pancakes or something i usually crave start to crave sweet stuff late in the day all right it is later in the day i'm still working on everything i told you guys i had to do um like i have to get done before tomorrow but i started to get hungry again so i made a it's like a little more than a fourth a cup of oatmeal, a little less than a third, and then like half a scoop of my PE Science, why can't I get it? Peanut butter protein right there. So that's what I'm gonna have, get some protein in, get some healthy carbs in. The meal I had last, um, it's really, really good. I ended up not eating too many of the chips and the dip, so that meal all by itself although it's very good, is not very filling, or like at least doesn't keep you full that long because there's really no carbs in it. The oatmeal is gonna be real good. This is meal like five. I normally eat like six to seven times a day, just like very like smaller meals. I don't really ever eat a meal that's over 350 calories, I'd say. At least I try not to. I described in other videos, like I tried the intermittent fasting and I, I tried doing it different ways. My body personally, just does a better job when I eat smaller meals so it has time to digest just like smaller quantities of food rather than only eating like three times a day and having them be bigger meals. My body just doesn't do very well with that for some reason. So I'm gonna enjoy this, get back to editing. I have to go change my laundry and I wanna take a nap. 